on our Illustrator Curves. And in the Illustrator Curves, you gotta go to your Google Classroom and you're gonna click on each of the curve files once again, the curve files need to be downloaded. You can see a preview this time, but you need to download the file because it doesn't open in Illustrator. So you click the arrow button that's pointing down, which means download. It will then appear on the screen here at the bottom of your web browser. So we clicked on the heart to download. We're clicking on the oval. It is now going to download. We're going to now click on our last file, which is the curves, and then it click on download. So your files are now here in the download. So let's go ahead and start with um, our curves file. So you click on the curves file, you click on um, your illustrator to open it up, and here you go with your curves, and the pink uh, dots are there to show you where you're actually supposed to be uh, pointing and clicking. We're once again going to use the pen tool. We're going to then change the color of the pen tool to be um, a green. So let's go for a dark green. And we're going to make sure that there is no fill color. So you click on the white box here uh, that says that it's filled with white. And you click on the hash that says no color. So with the pen tool, uh, you're going to click on the A button uh, where A is. And um, sorry. You're going to click on A and you're going to drag to B. So you're dragging this time. Then you're just going to click on C. You're going to click on A and drag to B. Uh, just drag, uh, click on C. Click on A, drag to B, and click on C. Click on A, drag to B, and click on C. And you keep on doing this till you get all the way to the end of the page. You're just going to repeat it. This is just practice so you guys see how you're going to click and drag to make all of these different elements. Okay. And drag the beta. Now, if I click over here to the edge, uh, it's going to extend that line, and that's not what we, want it, what we want to do. We actually want to actually start a new line. So you click on Control Z, which undoes it. You click on your pen tool again, which releases the file here. And you know, you're going to click on A, drag the B. And now you're going to click on A and drag to B. And you're going to keep on doing that. So you're going to make mountains and valleys here. Where beforehand you were making uh, peaks and valleys with a point on the top. And now you're actually making mountain and valleys. Okay. There's our first file. We're going to do a file save as. You're going to change it from 00 to your class period. So we're going to go 01 with your last name and your first initial. We're going to now change it from an Adobe Illustrator file to an Illustrator EPS. And we're going to make our own folder. So you're going to create new folder. And let's call this one 02 and curves. Because these are the curves that we're now using. And this is our second assignment. So now you put it inside the folder and save. So now we can go ahead and go back to the internet. Click on our next file, which is uh, the oval. Open it up. Oops, sorry, I didn't finish saving on the last one. Okay, save. Uh, click on our next file, which is the oval. And now you're going to go ahead and pick a color. Let's go ahead and go pink. Uh, fill with no fill. Change our line color to about 10. So it's a, a thick line. We're going to click on A, drag the B. We're going to click on C and drag the D. We're going to click on E and drag the F. We're going to click on G and drag the H. And then we're going to click on A again and drag the B again, which completes our circle. When you reverse it, now you have a pink circle. File, save as. Once again, 0, 1 for my first period. I am on. My last name is Ramirez. My first name is Steven. So R-A-M-I-R-E-Z with... An S, and we're going to change that to Illustrator EPS, and I'm going to put it once again into my 02 curves file. Save. Okay. And go ahead and close that one out. And close that one out. And now we can go ahead and uh, go back to the internet. Oops. I must have closed it out. And. Sorry. 
uh, let's see, internet, here. And let's click on our last one, which is the heart. Some people find this one to be the hardest one. So let's go ahead and give it a red heart, uh, no fill, and a red stroke. And we're going to do it again at about 10 points. So we're going to click on A only. Now you're going to click on B and drag to C. We're going to click on D and drag to E. We're going to click on F only. We're going to click on G and drag to H. We're going to click on I and drag to J. And then we're going to click back again on A only. And now you and now you finished your heart. So uh, with the heart selected, you can then reverse so that it's filled with red. Uh, file, save as, once again, 0, 1, because I'm pretending I'm in first period. I'm changing it to then say my last name and my first initial. Illustrate EPS into zero two curves and save and say okay and close the file and now I can now go into um, my uh, Google Drive I'm going to come over to my Google Drive I'm going to click on my graphic design folder and once I click on my graphic design folder, I'm going to now look at my my folder that says zero two curves. I'm going to drag that whole folder into my graphic design folder, and now I'm going to it's going to upload my zero two curves into my graphic design folder. So you can double click on the folder, and you will see all three of your files. And there we go, and that was our our last lesson. Thank you very much.